I'm Maria Menunos, and you're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Hi, Hi. everyone. Welcome to Soap News Weekly. We are AfterBuzz TV's entertainment news for all of your favorite soap operas. I'm Tammy Govea. And I'm Chelsea Overrocker. And let's give a little hello to the folks in yes. the chat room before we break on into the show. So we have Kenneth in there. Hello, Kenneth. Hey, Kenneth. We have Lisa Wagner. Annie's in the chat. Yes. And Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi. Everyone's saying hello to everyone else. It's Aww, so great. This is awesome. Thank you for joining us. This is amazing. We love what we do and we love the support. Yes, we do. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, everyone. And speaking of support, please make sure and follow us across all social media. We made it super easy. Instagram, mm -hmm. Facebook, and Twitter. You can find us at Soap News Weekly. And if you're a lover of podcasts, you can also go onto Apple Podcasts. You can find Soap News Weekly. You can listen to us while you are dusting. You can listen to us while you're at the gym. I listen to podcasts yeah. while I'm at the gym. I listen to it while I'm driving. Oh, yes. Because I have right. a long commute. Yes, yeah. podcasts are it. So go on to Apple Podcasts, take a listen to Soap News Weekly, and let us know your thoughts. We appreciate all feedback. Five-star reviews are always amazing as well. <laughs> yes, we do. We appreciate it. So before we get into the week, thoughts? It was a good week. Yeah? Yeah, there was a lot of news, especially for days. He kept texting me this week thinking this Oh my gosh. And this. And, this. Yes. and that's great. Yes. And um, just looking over what you found for B&B &B and General Hospital, too. There's lots of good stuff. It is. And speaking of good stuff, I want to give a shout out. Yes. I want to give a shout out to Tony from yes. Sweet Tea Customs. Now, Tony made some of these for Dish and Days, mm -hmm. which is the After Buzz TV recap for Days of Our Lives, and we are also the some of the hosts on the show. Um, and Tony Moore introduced us to Tony, yes. who does these amazing designs. So we want to thank you. So cute. Make sure to go on to Sweet Tea Customs Instagram, which is Sweet Tea Customs 3, okay? Check out the work and support and... Play. Have Everybody fun. deserves their own custom yeah. drink holder. And she's so talented. There's so many things that she could do. Because I'm yeah. talking with her right now, and she's placed an order for me. And it's just, it's so nice. It's like when you fun. open it, you're like, oh, so I cute. Know. <laughs> so thank you, Tony. Thanks. Okay, shall we get into the bold and the beautiful? We shall. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yay! <laughs> we're getting good. We're getting good. We are getting good at this. Okay, so, you know, we're going to start off and talk a little bit about Mr. Wayne Brady. Now, he's been off the canvas of B&B &B for a while, although mm -hmm. they're constantly referencing him because his storyline was insane. Super, super dramatic, and coming from a comedy background, I was like, how mm -hmm. is this going to work? But he was spectacular. Super busy because he's launching his own reality show. And it is called Wayne Brady's Comedy IQ. It will actually pit fellow comics against each other to test their comedy chops, as he wow. puts it. Yeah, so this will be great. And the fact that it's a live show, it's perfect for Wayne. Because, yeah. you know, that he just feeds off of, off of, you know, that live energy. You know, that theater has type it. of yeah. energy. He has it, he has it. So really looking forward to this new reality show. And during this interview that I was reading about, they actually asked him what it was like to work on The Bold and the Beautiful. And I love, I'm going to read what he, he actually wrote. Okay. Because it's so amazing, and we say this all the time. He said, the entire experience was hard. And it was a good kind of hard. He says, people may have a misconception about soaps. They think, well, that's cheesy, or they can't act. However... Being on a soap is the closest one can get to being a Broadway star on TV. Wow. Yeah. He said, I love the challenge. I love being part of a big story. So we want to thank Wayne for just, again, driving it home that doing a soap opera is extraordinarily difficult. Mm -hmm. And you need to be extraordinarily talented yes. and committed. Yes. Because if you're not, you're out. Yeah. 
one take, really. That's all that they get when they're on set with these soaps. That's it. It's the closest thing people will come to being on stage, and they don't realize that. Good so for thank him. you, Wayne, for supporting the daytime community. Next, we are going to take a look at Miss Katrina Bowden. My gosh. So here's a picture, podcast folks. You're missing this picture of Katrina. She's jumping out of, well, it's a tandem jump. She's oh. jumping out of an airplane. So apparently this was one of her bucket list. Like, this is what I want to do. You know, one of the things I want to do in my life. Yeah. And what's really cool is that she's terrified of heights. No. She's terrified wow. of heights. So she was thinking, you know what? Maybe this will help me with my fear of heights. Good for her. So just on a personal note, my husband, I for his birthday, I got him this type of tandem experience. Yeah. Knowing that he would love something like that. He's been wanting to do it. And he's like, well, let's do it together. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Don't think it's a great idea no. to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. Oh. So you go have fun. I will be at the bottom cheering you, you on. on. Yeah. But you know what? After reading Katrina's story, I'm thinking, because I'm terrified of heights. I think you should do it. I am terrified. Yeah. I have to tell you, this is actually on my bucket list. <sighs> but not because you're scared of heights, because you're like, this is exciting. This yeah. would be cool to do. Well, we should do it together. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. That would be great. It would be bonding time. Wow. Yeah. Soap News Weekly live. Uh, uh, in the air. <laughs> Literally the air. live in the air. Oh, my gosh. Okay. You All heard right. it here, folks. We'll, ha we'll play a video for you guys, you too. You heard it here. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, oh, my gosh. Well, now I can't back out. No. Like, okay. We got this. Oh, yeah. All right. Catherine Kelly Lang, one of the busiest women in daytime television. Well, she's got that reputation for a reason because she is working on two films as we speak. So the first one is called The Christmas Dance, and it's starring alongside Richard Karn, who people will remember from Home Improvement. Mm -hmm. um, it's directed by Michael Arcel, and this is great. I love the quote that he wrote um, that she actually wrote, Catherine wrote, what a wonderful family we make in the Christmas dance movie. I love it when you're hired to play a part and have to instantly become a family. Yeah. Which is hard. It's hard. There's nothing better than working with people that are so genuine and lovely and talented and feel like family right away. She says, thanks, family. So we will actually be reporting more on this film because we don't have a release date yet. Okay. So as Catherine and Michael, the director, have a start date, you know, a release date, we will be posting that so everyone can know where to tune into this. Perfect. And, um, you know, anything Christmas in it is going to be fun. Oh, I'm right, already a Chelsea? fan. Yes, you know me. Anything Christmas. And the other film that she's working on is called Stand the Man. This is really fun because it's it's a comedy. This is this is a comedy comedy, uh -huh. and it stars Elizabeth Morgan, who plays who's opposite Stephen Chase, who also is directing the comedy and is writing a mm -hmm. writer for it, and um, and Catherine plays a really fun character in this. It'll be fun seeing her in a comedy, which is a little little bit of a departure from Bold and the Beautiful mm -hmm. drama. So excited to see this and excited to see her in all things. She is keeping busy. All things. And speaking of all things, if you are a lover of The Bold and the Beautiful, After Buzz TV has a recap for it. It's called The Bold Breakdown. Exciting news because James Law Jr. and I host that recap show. And in February, we're actually going to have two Sundays. Ooh. Typically, it's only once a month. But the first one will be Sunday, February 2nd at 2.15 p.m. If you are a lover again of The Bold and the Beautiful, we will recap all the drama. And man, there's so Great. much to talk about. Oh. So much. As there is with days. And I'll let you take it. Well, <laughs> let's get into days of our lives Woo. now. Tell you this and why it are. Yeah. I love the theme song. It's just nice. It's good stuff. All right. 
Well, with Days of Our Lives, spoilers, we don't have a Tony and Anna Demera plot yet, ever since the time jump. And they kind of just fell off the canvas. Yes. And a lot of people have been questioning, well, why? And I miss them. They're one of our fan favorites. So again, as Chelsea said, spoiler alert, if you, if you haven't watched this week yet, just walk away for about yeah. seven minutes and yes. then come back. Spoiler. Okay. Well, head writer Ron Carlovati said, There was no room for the couple, but he didn't rule out future returns. Ron stated during Flashback Week, viewers will get to see what caused the couple to leave town. Plus, it is teased that they affected a big storyline sure before did. their exit. It was, Chels, I know you haven't seen it Not yet. Not all of it yet. But it was literally gas, like, <gasps> Oh. That's good. Okay, now it's I'm ready. So good. I've seen Mondays, but I haven't seen the rest. I'm getting yes. caught up tonight. But what does this mean for them returning? Um, even though they're not on the ca canvas, it is possible they'll return in the future. Ron stated he enjoys pulling out fan favorite characters and bringing them back into play. Yes, so. uh, which is great. Yeah, I mean, he's really good about that. And every time I get angry or frustrated that someone isn't getting screen time, mm -hmm. I have to remember that Ron has a soft spot. He does. For for the longtime characters and you know, if it's gotta support the story. So keeping the faith that Tony, Andre, whatever, we will take Teo mm -hmm. in whatever form we can get him and obviously Leah. We love Leah. Yeah, love yeah both of them. So hopefully we don't have to wait too long I to know. see them. But speaking of fan favorite, we have Sean Douglas Brady Yay! coming back to Salem. So fabulous. Last summer, Brandon Beamer, who plays Sean, teased he's going to return on Days of Our Lives and has used social media to let his fans know. One fan asked Brandon when will he be back, and he'll return in February for a few days, but no further details. And I discussed this a few weeks ago on Dishon Days, but no one has really, besides Rafe, has put it together that something's going on with Hope. This has been your theory for a long time. My theory you is... You said it's Sean. Yeah, it's I gonna said be Sean. it has to be Sean. He's going to have to come back and be like, okay, something's wrong with my mom. So Because Sierra, like you said, is busy. She's busy with she's them. She's got like other stuff. Yeah, she has, she has <laughs> other stuff that she's doing. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen in February. I'm just so glad he's coming back. Me too. I love him. Another actor that will be back is Marie Wilson, who plays Summer Townsend. I'm so happy. <sighs> again. I, I, again. Again, I need to see. Yeah, I need I, to get caught she, up. She appeared this week. So but what I'm hearing is she's resulting in trouble for oh, Maggie. Oh, you have no idea. Um, you have no idea. We're going to get some answers there. And Marie Wilson, she's so fierce. She is. She's just, gosh, I, I, you know, I just wish they would use her more. Like keep the the character of of Summer yeah. in because she is so complicated and so messed up and you want to just you know bonk her over the head with a pillow because she's just like Wah! and then she's like but you can't help but feel for her no. at the same time so right love you Marie so Maggie and Summer are gonna get some good scenes oh yes Oof. oh yes. Now, we discussed this last week that there was a possibility of days going to Peacock streaming services, and it has been revealed that they are going to be on the service. In a tweet, a streamer states 13,753 episodes, and there's still more drama to come for the residents of Salem. See what unbelievable things happen next on Peacock. Which, chat room, if you guys want to chime in, kind of what your thoughts is. And to be clear, Days is still going to be shown on NBC, but now they're going to be added to the Peacock service. And it's not in detail yet what episodes are going to be on Peacock. We don't even know if it's going to be the same day airings or if it's going to be the next day like they do with the NBC app. It's still, there's a lot of details that Peacock has to let us know on. There was a rep from Days that got asked this question. They said no comment yet when they were pressed with it. So it's still a lot more to come. Yes. But on April 15th, Peacock will be available on Comcast, Xfinity, XY, and Flex video platforms before a full national launch on July 15th. On July 15th. You know, and it's 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 the future. Mm -hmm. Well, the future is now, and streaming is where it's at. Yeah. You know, this is how people are ingesting um, content. It is. 
And so. in a way, I think it's a positive. There's going to be more ways for days to get exposure. You have NBC. You have the NBC app. Now you have the Peacock streaming services. Yes. And on demand if you have cable, too. So yes. I think this is going to benefit them more than anything. You know, they've got to stay competitive. And, they do. And, you know, the CBS All Access, you know, they've had their streaming app for a while. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you got they're competing against Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime and YouTube and like you got to jump in the game. You do. If you want to stay relevant, you got to you got to jump in the game and be able to compete. So, I agree. Um, the content that's actually going to be on Peacock is going to be amazing stuff. There, yeah, it is. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, you know, Jimmy Fallon. They and have reality shows. Yeah, reality shows. Um, Saturday Night Live is on there yeah. too. Yeah. So I'm hoping, as with CBS All Access, you know, like for instance, when The Bold and the Beautiful airs, then you can see it on on the the streaming uh, CBS All Access mm -hmm. that same day. Yeah. So I'm hoping NBC Peacock they do that. They have to take a cue. Yeah, if they're going to want to stay competitive, they're going to have to yeah. do, I think, in my personal opinion, same day errands. Yeah, we don't need any delay time when it comes to watching our no our soaps. No, and just to break it down a little bit for Peacock services, they have, um, when you break it down to tiers, the cost is $4.99 or $10 a month. Yes. And there's also a free level. Oh, there's a free level yes. too. Yes. I have no idea what content includes free service, what content includes the four ninety nine level and the ten dollar level. You know, it's going to be a matter of choice, and I guess what your favorite shows are, and you what just kind go of from there. Yeah, which what you want. Exactly. So, yeah, I think it's something everyone should check out. You guys should watch. Another thing you should watch, of course, is our after show for yes. Days of Our Lives, Dish and Days on Sundays at three fifteen p.m. Perfect. And that's it for days. Let's get into some general hospital. Yes. What are we this week? I don't know. <laughs> surfboarding. Okay. We're water and we're surfboarding. Surfboarding it. <laughs> well, I'm just loving all things Real Andrews. So for general hospital fans, you will remember him as Marcus Taggart. Last time he was on the show was 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. So the character of Marcus has been a thorn in Sonny Corinthus' side since they were youngins in Brooklyn. They grew up together. Sonny went into the side of the mafia. Tiger went into the law enforcement. Wow. And there's a lot of other personal drama between the two of them, so they've always been enemies and butting heads. So Marcus Tiger is back in oh. Port Charles, and he's there to make trouble for Sonny. And we love it. We, we absolutely like it. love it. I have no idea how long he's going to be on the canvas, but there's rumblings about his other possible connections with other characters on the show. So if that does come to fruition, he's going to be here for the long haul. Oh, I'm hoping. Oh, that would be good. I'm hoping. And one thing we also want to mention with Mr. Real Andrews is our very own James Lott Jr. will be interviewing Mr. Andrews on James's show, The Extra Connection, at the after party. So this is going to be on January 27th at 7 p.m. You can follow James on Instagram at JLJ Media. You'll be able to get links to this interview, find out more about, you know, all the amazing stuff that James does and his amazing interviews. And it's going to, he's, he's known Real for a while. So this is going to be a great interview. Make sure and check it out. That would be great. Another really fun piece of news. We've got Brooklyn Ray Silzer back on General Hospital. Uh, now, Brooklyn, you know, is debuted very similar to the character of, of little Robin Scorpio when, you know, the actress started the soap when she was like five years old. Same with Brooklyn Ray. And she is back as Emma. She uh, is Robin Drake Scorpio's daughter. Um, Anna Fanola Hughes's granddaughter on the show, and she posted on Twitter. She said, dreams come true. Thank you so much, GH executive producer Frank Valentini, for having me back. Beyond grateful to be back with my GH family. So we're so happy. That's good. She's just, she's a, a dynamic little actress, and she's growing up on the show. I think that's a she's lot. She's literally for... growing up on the show. Yeah, when you're a child star to be growing up yeah. on soaps. 
Happy birthday! We've got a lot of GH birthdays this month. We've Yay. got O'Neill Monahan, Monahan who plays Rocco Falconeri. Happy birthday, Brianna Henry, who plays Commissioner Jordan Ashford. And the grand dame herself, Ms. Jane Elliott, who plays Tracy Quartermain. She's been back on the GH landscape for some time now. And I'm always screaming at the TV every time she's on because <laughs> she's so fantastic. So happy birthday, happy everyone. Birthday. Good stuff, good stuff. GH okay. fans, GH fans, do you know about After Buzz TV's recap show? For General Hospital? Well, let me tell you about it. Sundays, <laughs> 6 15 p.m. If you're a lover of General Hospital and you like a good recap and you want to join the community of fans and want to talk about what happened this week, join the GH Report Sundays at 6 15 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, Tammy. Yeah. Now let's get into some The Young and the Restless. Oh, so much drama. Seriously. <sighs> That's the sound of my tear in Sharon's <laughs> storyline. I did your part for you because you were crying. Oh, I know, so I'm crying, I, thinking of I Sharon. Cut, yeah. I'm thinking of Mariah. The storylines are so good. So I, I'm not. I you started to get into YNR. I started, you know, I thought, you know what? I've got to. I got to start watching YNR. It's a number one soap opera. Um, I used to watch it back in the day, and um, the stories are so good. They are very. It's good. so different from the other soaps in that it's so story relationship based mm -hmm. you know at least right now there's not kidnappings there's not you know switching of babies there's none of that it's just relationships yes it's just relationships and i think sharon's is a really good oh one. my gosh and i'm loving mariah and tessa yeah mariah and i tessa. love their storyline yeah cameron grimes is mariah i just love her work She's good. She's so good. She's good. Well, we also have a new cast member join y &R Oh, my gosh. As lucky, well. lucky, lucky. It's Christian Keyes. He's going to be playing Ripley Turner. Turner's the former fiancé that Amanda filed a restraining order against. So he's been off the canvas for a while. But okay. He's coming back, so that's going to get into a very interesting storyline. He'll be making his appearance on Wednesday, February 5th. Okay. So be sure to check that Absolutely. out. Absolutely. And I know with Amanda, too, we discussed last week that there might be possibility with her and Billy, too. I don't know. So maybe this guy's yeah, going to... Yeah, there's chemistry. They can mix it up a little bit. <laughs> well, speaking of chemistry, it's your favorite couple. Uh, Kate, Katie Fairbanks, who plays Tessa, discussed with TV Insider about playing a half of a same-sex fan favorite couple on the daytime number one series. Yeah. And I thought it was really great just hearing her response when she had this interview. Fairbanks stated, in person, everyone is nice, so no one is mean in person. Also, I'm a little taller, so I think people get intimidated by that. So many people are nice and giving and patient. I only tend to read social media posts if I'm tagged in them. But if the remarks are cruel, I don't really need to say anything. Yeah, you most, don't want to engage. Yeah, most of the yeah. supporters are passionate about their relationship. And um, I lived a lot of my life as a loner. It's nice when people defend me because they want to. Yeah, so I think that support. Having that support. Yeah. And then a spokesperson said because she does have a lot of support with the LGBTI plus community, um, does she feel like a spokesperson for it? Interesting. And she responded, no, I've always participated in things. I grew up in theater and the gay community was always around me. I take a part in things when I'm asked. I love what to do. But no, I don't feel like a spokesperson. I am a very proponent of being kind to people and one another. There you go. And I like her yeah. honesty, you know, because yeah. I feel like anyone in that position could be like, oh, yeah, I... I feel like a spokesperson. I play this role. I know what I'm doing. And just because you play a role, she's like, no, I don't feel like I'm a spokesperson. However, I have respect for it, and I'm glad to be a part of this community. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes um, putting that mantle on or that crown of spokesperson can be a lot. There's a lot of pressure there is. involved. And if you can handle what that means being a spokesperson, then great. But if you, you know, there's just different ways. She is. She is just, to a sense, but she, she's just not. She's humbled. She yeah. She when exactly. I'm reading this response, I think in a sense, some people might say, yeah, she is a spokesperson. Yeah. To her, she's probably thinking no, but I think to other people who are watching this show, they could say yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, but I think she just comes across very humbled. Yes. So that's definitely. what I like about her. So good job. And another thing that you guys might like is what Young and Restless after show. It airs Sundays at 5.15 p.m. It's the Restless Rap. It's such, yeah. Yeah. Such a good they one. They have some good storylines oh to talk gosh, about, I'm sure, I on that know. after show. Have you been watching? I keeping have. Up with it? I have been keeping up with it. I, could, I took a couple weeks off yeah. because I have been watching Days on um, my Hallmark. Just, the, just <laughs> um, the interaction with Sharon Case, you know, and, you know, Sharon telling the kids and family that she has breast cancer has just been so good. And that's why so beautiful it's a to good storyline because Ugh. it's very relatable. Yeah. I think. When people like soaps, they want to be able, into some sense, be like, okay, I can relate to this. Yes. And I think that's yeah, why they're doing, they're doing such great. a beautiful job. Yeah. Kudos, kudos, YNR. All right, let's talk a little bit about some alumni in daytime. We are going to talk about Joanna Johnson. So she's been off the canvas for a while, but Joanna played Caroline and later her twin Karen on The Bold and the Beautiful. But recently, she has moved into television as executive producer and writer of Prime Time's TV show called Good Trouble. Uh, this week, there was an episode that aired called Clapback, and it it's the storyline is about the op the opioid crisis. Mm -hmm. And the after the the um, episode aired, the cast members actually appeared in a PSA um, shown on the program's official Twitter account. So if you go to their Twitter account, you can take a look at the PSA. And there is a really touching scene during the episode and one of the characters says let me make sure i get this right you can't trust where pills are coming from or what's in them and it's interesting because for joanna the storyline actually hits close to home okay. um, she said that this episode was actually dedicated to her niece kelly shay johnson who died of a fatal dose of fentanyl so this was a very, again, close to home storyline. And, you know, when you can take a, a tragedy from life and um, use it to educate other people on this mm -hmm. opioid crisis and to be able to give support, you know, here's where you can go for support. Or yeah. if you know someone who is suffering, here's who, here's who you can call. Ah, that's the beauty of having this kind of platform. And so mm -hmm. kudos, Joanna. This Good is for her. amazing work, amazing work. Kelly, Kelly, talk to us about Kelly. Yes, oh well, God. Kelly Tebod, we loved her as the Brits, the Brits on General Hospital. Yes. Now, Kelly Tebod has a new role that's bringing her back into the ABC family. She'll be recurring for the last two episodes of the character Eva on Station 19, a sp spinoff of Grey's Anatomy. Her first appearance is set Thursday, January 30th. Okay. And I caught a glimpse of Grey's Anatomy tonight, and it looks good. And Station 19 are doing a crossover event. So that's exciting that she's going to be a part of that. It is. Kelly's premiere episode is called Indoor Firework. No word on her character Eva yet and who she's connected to, but it's going to be great. Anything that you could do with Shonda Rhimes, I feel like, is amazing. And we were just talking about how long Grey's Anatomy's been on. Yeah. 16 seasons already. Yeah. So, um, Kelly Thebaugh, make sure you guys check her out. Again, it's going to be January 30th. That's yes. when she's airing. And it's so funny because we've got a clip we're going to show. Okay. Um, but, you know, she, Jenner Hospital, obviously, drama, drama, drama. Grey's yes. Anatomy, Station 19, drama, drama, drama. But Kelly is one of the funniest women on the face of the planet. Oh. And, <laughs> are, are, Ryan, are we going to be able to show this? Awesome. Okay. So we're going to show this because you can get a glimpse of her com her comedic. Her comedic. Her, yes, comedic side. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Happy 2020. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm, uh, it is uh, day seven of no alcohol, no <laughs> carbs, and no sugar. Woo! Yeah, everything's, yes. everything's going great. I feel amazing. You know, I haven't had any cravings or anything like that, <clears throat> but I'm being tempted. <laughs> I am in the parking lot of 
one of my favorite restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> and she pants over to Chili's. Ah! Uh... Be strong, Kelly. Be strong. You don't need those chicken crispers, the skillet queso, or those Southwest egg rolls. Yeah, you know, it's, it's not what you need right now. Oh. Good body. Looking Going for a clear head. <laughs> Tight ass. <laughs> perspective when you're in the parking lot of Chili's is not easy. No. I hope she I hope she just wheelied like just ran out of there as fast as she could. Oh, gosh. <laughs> well, kudos to you, Kelly. I know. <laughs> we, was, wish you well. we, wish we wish you well. We wish you well. Up next, um, so I want to talk about Beacon Hill. So this is a YouTube political drama yeah. that um, it's actually in its second season and they posted a trailer for season two. And I kind of heard about Beacon Hill, but kind of forgotten about it mm -hmm. because there's all these, you know, other amazing streaming drama, soap operas yeah. now. You know, obviously, The Bay and, and you've got Y series that's coming up and After Forever. And so Beacon Hill, YouTube's political drama, season two trailer. We've got some pictures here. What I find amazing is some of the cast for for Beacon Hill. You've got alumni. Jacob Young, Crystal Chappelle, Nada B. Orlin, mm -hmm. yeah, Hillary B. Smith. I mean, these are amazing, amazing alumni from wow. our favorite soap operas. So I'm really excited. I'm going to binge season one. Okay. And um, looking forward to season two of Beacon Hill. Again, you'll be able to find that YouTube series. That looks good. <laughs> and we definitely have some fan favorites there, too. We do. My wow. gosh. Well, speaking of fan favorites, let's go ahead and get into the chat room and see what you guys are saying. Yes. We've got... Um, is Marlena. We've, people are talking about Marlena. They are. Yes. Oh, my gosh. They're talking about a double sweep wedding. Oh, okay. I love they're talking about days of our lives. I know, it's all yes, days. because these are a lot of our Dishon Days fun fans. We, do, we did see with Annie, for the record, I don't blame Marie uh, for Summer's poor me attitude. Oh, yeah. I blame the writing, just want to make that clear. And Ken, Ken made Marie a really Wilson. good point. He said, you know, love Marie on Port Charles and as the world turns, yeah. You know, Marie's been in the soap opera world for a long time, and so, Yeah, yeah. And then Kenneth also said, oh, my God, Emma is growing up, right? Yes. She's a young lady. She is. She's a young lady, and we love her. Awesome. Okay, well, that is what's going on in the chat room. So this is fun. Daytime in real time. Again, we like to yeah. see what our favorite soap opera actors and actresses um, are doing in real life. And here we've got a picture of Mr. Robert Scott Wilson. Yes. This is this is called Winter in Los Angeles. <laughs> he's hiking, for our podcast listeners, he's hiking. It's a picture of him at Runyon Canyon, which is a really popular hiking destination if you live in the city in Hollywood, West Hollywood area. Um, and he is in, he's shirtless. He is. He's shirtless. Fighting off the, the winter sunshine. Oh, definitely. Here in Los Angeles. And he's running. Yes. And I'm just saying, after I get done doing a hike or I'm running, I'm all sweaty, oh, gross. Yeah. And he looks like he just walked out of a fashion magazine. Uh, yeah. So, of course, of course he did. he's Robert Scott Wilson. That's true. Yes. That is true. <laughs> Sin lovers out there. And stay inspired. Stay working out <laughs> during the winter. Yeah. Because <laughs> we is, can. It is. Yes. We can. This is the perks of living in L.A. <laughs> you get to have nice, sunny weather, and then you get to see Robert Scott Wilson shirtless. There you go. What more you want? <laughs> Okay, Ryan Carnes, who yeah. plays Lucas on General Hospital, posted on Insta about taking a trip to Tijuana, uh, Tijuana, Tijuana yes. with the organization This Is About Humanity. He said it brought him closer to understanding the humanitarian crisis taking place for asylum line seekers who are fl fleeing horrific situations. Yes. And then he quoted, we laughed. We cried, we painted and played, we held and hugged children who live in tents with their entire families, who lives, 
Her lives have been forever altered by violence, trauma, and abject poverty. This is about humanity. Who facilitated this trip is a true miracle for their families. Yeah. And you can find more about this organization on their Insta at This Is About Humanity and by going to their website, This Is About Humanity.com. Yeah, these asylum seekers, you know, that whole topic of conversation is so volatile and. When you've got organizations like this is about humanity, that its whole sole purpose is mm -hmm. to keep the conversation going, yes, and to show the reality of these families and the conditions that they're living in. It's um, it's profound work, and it's great profound that he's work. it's great that he's getting involved with that too. Yes, yeah, yeah. So again, you guys, this is about humanity .com. Go to the website, check out the amazing work that they do, and if it resonates with you, support, support. Yes. Cynthia Watros, she plays Nina on General Hospital, <laughs> posted a picture on Instagram. Um, she's on an airplane and she wrote, look who has a row all to herself. <laughs> That's one of my favorite uh, moments on a flight when I find out like, oh my God, we're not sitting next to anybody. That's this is fantastic. Best. So it was interesting. Um, Ingo Rademacher, who plays Jax on GH, wrote, and where are you off to? And Cynthia replies, I'm coming back to California so I can play with you. So I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Nina and Jax playing in the daytime drama mm. sandbox as i like to call it she's amazing um amazing she replaced michelle stafford did she? michelle went back yeah. to yr yeah and cynthia stepped in and she is slaying it she's doing she's good she's absolutely slaying it well and that's nice i would like to have a row to yourself i just got excited because when it was in southwest i was able to i was the last group to get called and right. I'm like okay people are like okay I'm group C they're like C for center everyone take your seats and I got into the row and they were like oh do you want the window and I'm like yeah and I just got excited <laughs> for that so imagine when you get the whole roll to yourself I know. I'm more of an aisle person yeah because I like to make a quick exit or I don't know yes. I don't know what it is I know unless I'm flying into Hawaii then I know there's gonna be amazing views or something true yeah very true so Oh my well, gosh, I think I think that does it. Is that going to wrap it up for the week? I think it does too. Go home and please watch Days. Please. Yes, I need to go home and watch Days. I'm looking yes. in the chat room right now. I'm already kind of seeing some spoilers oh, of what's no, going to no, happen. No, you guys, no spoilers. I'm seeing just a, I have I'm kind of starting to piece it together, so And it's been really tough because all the sh the soaps have been preempted this week. Yeah, I know. Because of the impeachment scenario. Um, so it's been more challenging. It's one of the most powerful weeks in daytime I drama, know. like across the board. And it's ugh, a little frustrating. It's frustrating. Little frustrating. I know. That's why I have to kind of rework my schedule a little right. bit. But I'll get it done tonight. It's all about days. Until next week, where can people find you on the socials, Miss Thing? You can find me on Instagram at Chelsea Overrocker and on Twitter at Chelsea Overrocker. And you can find Soap News Weekly, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Soap News Weekly. You can find me on Twitter at Tammy Govea and on Insta at Tammy.Govea. Tony, again, thank you yes. for our Soap News Weekly cups. Go on to her Instagram at Sweet Tea Customs 3. Check it out. And everyone, we will see you next week. Bye. Bye! Our founder, Kevin Undergaro, and me, Maria Menunos, would like to thank you for tuning in to AfterBuzz TV. Remember, we're not just the first, we're the biggest in the world, and we're the only destination for all your favorite TV shows. Whatever you crave, we've got it. So go to AfterBuzzTV.com and check out our lineup. Buzz you later! <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.